The general election just weeks away. The Life Defense Fund says Rapid City and the rest of South Dakota is seeing a series of no on G signs being stolen. Dakota Territory's Brian Savage joins us in studio with more on what he knows. No on G refers to the amendment G measure on the November ballot, which would put abortion rights in the South Dakota state constitution. It would also take away the rights of parents to know when their underage child is undergoing an abortion procedure. Most of the missing and vandalized signs are from the Life Defense Fund and are being taken from both homes and businesses. One person in town was seen on security footage removing a no on G sign from a sidewalk during the day. Last week, a homeowner says a sign in their yard was run over and then stolen after being replaced. I asked a buddy of mine to give me another 23 signs. and I told him I'm going to put three up in my yard uh, with cameras and then I'm going to take the other 20 and, and I asked him to give me a t-shirt too. It's like, give me a big old honking no on G t-shirt. I'm going to walk the whole neighborhood, pass out as many signs as I can. A representative for the Life Defense Fund says it's disappointing to see these incidents popping up. So Brian, is there a reason on why Paulding believes these incidents happened to him? Jack, Paulding told me he believes they happened to him due to the Mehmet G measure being a polarizing issue with no on G signs potentially upsetting others. So Brian, is it illegal to steal or tamper with signs? Yes, some could face legal consequences for stealing or tampering with political yard signs, including theft and trespassing. All right, thank you very much, Brian.